All right, all right, y'all. Today we're going to be talking about AOZ. What is AOZ? AOZ is Age of Z Origins Tower Defense. Uh, we just call it AOZ. Uh, fair warning, tower defense is in the name, but there's not really that big of a tower defense portion of this game. Uh, you will be playing some to start and then playing one every day, but that is definitely not the main uh, point of the game, so I don't know why they put it in the title. Uh, funny enough, that's why I started playing this game, because I thought it was a tower defense game, and here I am six months later making YouTube videos, so it's um, worth playing. Uh, so the game is actually more of a mix between Farmville and like a Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, you'll choose a world, there's like 500 plus at this point, you drop a city in, uh, you can move your city, but you're just a city in a world, and then you'll start building your city. Uh, the game is a persistent world, which means that um, if you log off, the game still goes, so you need to turn your notifications on, uh, you want to check back regularly, because um, while you're sleeping, people on the other side of the world might attack you. So. Uh, you know, be careful and pay attention. Uh, so, the game starts off with you, um, level one, you don't have anything, there's a little tutorial, you start clicking a lot of things, you're upgrading a lot of things, uh, it takes a few hours to kind of get to a point where you don't have to click a lot of things, uh, but after the rush is gone, things start taking days or even weeks to upgrade, uh, so it'll slow down, which will give you time to do all the other fun things in the game. Um, <laughs> so, like attacking, uh, and you'll be attacking a lot, you'll be gathering a lot, you need resources. Um, you'll be finding out that if you attack alone, you'll be losing a lot of troops, so you'll want to join an alliance, and you'll be making friends. Um, you will be doing alliance events, you'll be doing individual events, uh, daily events, weekly events, uh, bi-weekly events, uh, monthly events. Um, so once you get into a good alliance and make a bunch of friends, the game uh, becomes a lot better. I don't know, I'm a social person, so it's one of my favorite aspects of the game. My alliance currently has 90 people in it from all over the world, so... Uh, yeah, you get to talk to a lot of people and learn a lot of things. So I do think it is worth mentioning that this game is free to play, but it is also what they call pay to win. So yes, you can play this game for free, and yes, you will get ahead by paying. Um, I would recommend paying a little bit. Uh, it does help you out greatly, but you don't need to. You can play it completely for free. So don't get discouraged by this little chart that I made. I uh, just wanted to show, you know, just this is one area of the game where you can spend money on. You can buy speed ups, you can uh, buy resources, you can buy uh, commander level titans, all sorts of stuff. But officers kind of are your infinite growth, so this is where you should be putting your money. So uh, somebody with uh, you know, 25 grand can max out all their officers, but even for just a few hundred bucks, you can get pretty far along, you know, and this is, as you can see, over six months to two years, but you don't have to spend money. Uh, this is only using the bot officers. You get officer fragments throughout the game just by playing. You get recruitment orders, which you can even get lucky and get eight of these fragments in there. So uh, that's where most people get their officer powers from. And I've known people that have been playing on their accounts for a long time, and they've got five-star officers on almost all of them. So... You'll get there, it just takes time, but if you've got money to blow and you don't care, then, man, you can zoom along. After about six months, the game does kind of change. You start by infighting in your world, and eventually you'll start fighting other worlds. Uh, this is called Void War, so kind of either have to make friends with all these people you've been fighting with or you stay enemies and you just start losing Void Horse. Um, so the game kind of does have, um, I don't, don't want to say sections, but 
as you grow, it does change and develop. So at the beginning, it's all fast and furious, and it does kind of slow down as you uh, keep playing. So a lot of people, after about six months, um, they just start over and start a new world. Um, a lot of people play multiple worlds. You can have multiple accounts in the same world. Um, but the game's been out for three years. Uh, there's a max level. It was 35, they just changed it to 38. Um, the creators keep adding tons of content, and yeah, one of the big things in the game is upgrading like your technology and your boosts, and I don't think you can ever run out of upgrades to improve, so you won't get bored. So I've been showing you some of the daily activities that you'll be doing inside of your city. Uh, now we'll move to the world where you can see other cities and you can see the uh, mineral mines, the uh, food, oil, steel, you have the upgraded. Um, this is where you'll be spending a lot of time as you scout out other players, other alliances, you form your alliance hive. Uh, you attack monsters, you attack worms, dinosaurs, you do your doom, and all your other events. This is actually one of my farm accounts, so this is uh, just meant to get resources for my main city, which is my attacking city. So I don't actually do most of the activities on this account, I just log in and send my troops out to gather resources and then I'll log into my other account and attack this city to get the resources. Uh, this is kind of a, a main thing in the game. A lot of people do farm accounts. Um, it is time consuming, but it's part of the game. As you can see, I complete all of my daily activities and send all my troops out in under 10 minutes. I'll probably log in in about six to eight hours and send the troops out again, maybe recruit and upgrade another building or two. Um, so for each account, you could maybe spend 30 minutes uh, throughout the day uh, doing all of your daily activities. So some people will have up to 10 accounts and spend several hours a day doing this. A lot of people don't take uh, full advantage of this game though. Uh, they basically play it as a farmville and just build their city and shields protect themselves all the time. That's perfectly fine. Um, people like me will come and attack your city when you're not shielded, so thank you for the resources. I will say that there are some events that can take uh, 30 minutes to an hour. Also, there is a uh, national event that happens uh, before Sunday night on reset. Uh, that takes place for 24 hours, so Sundays, weekends are more important to this game than the week. So if you can be active during those times and uh, have your weekends free, it'll greatly advantage you and everybody in your alliance will appreciate it because you'll be active and not leaving them to hang. But that's the only real time requirement. You, you don't need a lot of time to play this game. Now I will say when you start out, you will be spending a lot more time just because you'll be clicking the wrong things, duplicate kick clicking, not knowing the sequences, but keep watching my videos and we will help you play this game as efficiently as possible. And just a little bonus here at the end, my nation is actually currently in our Void War, so here's kind of the how it's going some of the top players, some of the top alliances, and how the points are all allocated. Uh, this is the most fun part of the game. You get to destroy people from other worlds with all of the people you've been fighting for the last six months. So you kind of come together and hopefully win. And just to show off here at the end, we can see my nice kill to death ratio and you don't have to be the most powerful person in the server to be the one with the most kills. You just have to know what you're doing. So keep watching, we'll get you there. 
All right, everybody, I think that's it for today. Be safe out there, and remember this is a game, so have fun. And as always, the shameless plug at the end of the video, if you guys wouldn't mind liking the video, sharing it, subscribing, leaving a comment, whatever you can do to help me out. Hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something.